But you know what? I think is what's going to happen is it's going to actually cause some of these coaches to stay where they put. Because, yeah. you know, they're going to realize, hey, if I take this other job and it opens up the transfer portal, I might potentially lose this person, that person. So it actually might turn out to benefit the university in the long run. And that's the next thing that we're talking about is on that same podcast with RG3, mm -hmm. Coach Primes was talking about how excited he was because every time these coaches leave, that's just opened up the window for more kids to be in the transfer portal. <laughs> so when this coach takes this job, now that job just opened up with uh, all their kids that have mm -hmm. an extra window in the one he just left opened up. So mm -hmm. now we have UW that's open. We have Alabama that's open. We have Arizona that's open. Arizona being a team that's in our conference moving to the Big 12. Which is so wild. now we got players that can go from there because right. even UW, they can't take all those players to nope. Bama. Mm -hmm. So those players have to go somewhere and now we have access to more of them. So mm -hmm. coach prime saying back like, Hey, keep, keep doing this coaching care. Keep moving. Yep. Keep shaking, moving and shaking. Cause you just giving me more time to pick your best players. Cause Bama yeah. lost a lot, even though they hired the board, man, they got lost a lot of talent left Alabama after saving left and people just couldn't believe it. But I was like, you really thought they were coming for Alabama? No, they were coming for, yeah, it's, Saban. It's for coach Saban. Right. And the, and the thing is, you're not just losing players already on the team. Mm -hmm. We've seen a bunch of commits right. decide right. to decommit. But on mm -hmm. top of that, for the first time I've ever seen, is we're seeing signees that are oh. getting out of their letter of intent. Oh. So kids that already signed in mm -hmm. December at the first signing day that are supposed to be a part of that program, they're now filing for waivers to get removed from that commitment. So now they could commit to another school for this class that we're already in. Mm -hmm. That's something that's pretty much completely new. And we're really going to see that play out. Like imagine the kids that just signed to university of Washington. Hey, they just went to the national championship. Want to go there. Oh, the coach is gone. And they were just terrible before he got there. Yeah, no, uh, I need out of my net letter of intent. <laughs> coach prime what's going on in the big 12 come holla at me. So I definitely think there's a bunch of huge changes with how the transfer portal is for these coaches, which is great because the coaches get to leave. Why shouldn't the kids be able to leave? Exactly. So now with these coaches leaving, it's benefiting Colorado significantly because we can have our pick of the litter. So, but you know, change is coming. You know, yeah. they're going to change these rules. They're going to change because they're not going to, they're not going to like it. The NCAA is going to, uh, they're going to change these rules. They're going to be like, Hey, and, but, but if they're smart and the universities get smart and the presidents and the ADs get smart, your problem is you got to figure out the coaching situation first. And that's what I was going to say. So that's what I think before they can mm -hmm. change anything with the portal, because the portal is working the way it's supposed to. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you want to change the portal, you got to change how the coaches can move. How the coaches as can long move. as the coaches can move freely like this, right. the players got to be able to move. Freely. Exactly. And I agree. Because like I just said, all the kids that committed to or signed to UW, that was before the national championship was even played. Mm -hmm. So you're going, you're signing to a program, to a coach that is a national champion contender. Mm -hmm. And after you sign, you find out that coach is gone. So that's no longer the same UW as it was with him there. Exactly. So you're not signing to the same school that had been recruiting you the whole time. Right. So then I definitely think it's going to, just be different now that kids can get out of their letter of intent, which it, it should have been that way all when I was playing, mm -hmm. but I had never heard of anyone being able to get out of that. But yeah, now it's giving more power to the players. So we're going to see a lot more exciting things in college football, which is great for us. It's great for Colorado. And I'm excited to see Coach Prime continue to dominate this transfer. Man, I think Coach Prime, he to build a I look, bro, it's college football playoffs are bust. It, to me, yeah. like he has, like, oh, we have to make the playoffs. You have to make the playoffs. 12 teams now, we have to make You the have playoffs, to make, man. we don't, there's That's no what way Colorado's not a top 12 team. There is no. absolutely no way. And yes, I'm going to put some money on that. <laughs> no, me too. And uh, we'll, we'll update y'all with the odds as soon as we find out the futures and everything. Yeah, yeah. man. You better take some of these I'm, bet, I'm betting on that. Yeah, yeah, man. Because we are putting our money where our mouth is. We <laughs> exactly. are locked in. We're we going to keep Coach our Brian. receipts. You know what Coach Brown said. Yeah. We keep receipts and, and, and we're going to keep them. And we're ready for spring ball to start and see what goes from there. But uh, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're going to be bringing you daily information on the buffs and everything going on in Colorado. And make sure y'all locked in on the channel.
Yeah, man. Come on, America. Follow us. Coach Prime. We got it over here. Yes, sir. We're out.